Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today we're about to get into um, Inglot moments because um, it's like a week into the next Show Me Love episode and I need my feels. So, if you don't already know, Inglot is um, Pifa and Charlotte. There are two uh, Miss Grand pageant queens who have been thrown into a fan-based relationship. Um, that end up turning into a show. So they're, from my understanding, just friends, which is all great and dandy. Doesn't matter either way because the world has decided that they're going to be an imaginary couple. So they are an imaginary couple. Um, that being said, we are currently watching Show Me Love and someone was like, hey, you should react to their TikToks. And I'm like, okay, let's see what happens. Not the hugest fan of this genre, but you keep trying something because eventually you will find your niche, right? So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first up, we have Inglot Moments I Think About A Lot, Part 1. That's their TikTok. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh. That's the from the white car from Show Me Love. That's literally the scene from Show Me Love. They're wearing the jacket and everything. Can't get behind the horse lips. Though. Pretty sure this is the same moment. <laughs> If only I knew what was being said. It must have some kind of event because her eyelashes are very eyelashy. Oh, that's their first TikTok together. Everybody loves this song. You know what I'm really trying to look for is these daddy vibes. Everybody says that the... It's the TikToks that show them and I just don't have... Ooh. Are they karaoke in the bus? I know P. Fock can sing. What, what's happening right now? <laughs> Thank you, editor, for putting that picture because I'm like, who? Do you ever karaoke with someone who can actually sing? It's not even worth it. Like, I'm just gonna bop because why? Oh, separate events. We love that. Oh, 
Oh, that's a cute dress. Brown might be your color. Oh, that's a dress. How many events does this mess grand pageant have? Oh, it's a concert. Miss Grand had a concert. What contraption is she wearing? Oh. That, I think that looked better as a fan than it did for them. Uh, I just, I appreciate them giving the moments because they know. Look at this. Look at this angle. I would have screamed too. Hello, Oh, that's Charlotte. Oh. Interesting. Oh, other moments. It's a make white brand. Oh, okay. Try not to smile when someone pretty is staring at your face. I don't think this is a winnable contest. Okay, seriously, no joke. Whose idea is this? This, this, um, this eating, like, um, Lady in the Trampness? Is that, like, every event? Why? What is this doing? What purpose does this hold as an event? I need to know. Because first of all, it's a lot of noodle. Or gum, or whatever it is. But I'm not sure what this is doing. And also, kind of feels a little unsanitary. And I know the con I know the point of the contest is to get as close as possible so that there's very little left. And some people make it this close, and then some people are like, "This is too close." But it's like, who one was the first one to do this, and two. Why do we do this at every event with a shift couple? I just don't understand. I know this is a, it's a thing. I just, I don't understand the thing. Are they wearing the same dress? I think the cut is different. Miss Grant International. Because she, she won the other one, right? Did she win everything? I don't know if she won everything. I know she won Miss Grand Thailand. So I'm assuming that then all the Asian countries would have a Miss Grand and they would try to beat each other entirely and then the winner of that Miss Grand would go on to Miss Universe. That makes sense. That's some pretty dresses though. They look edgy sometimes too though. Like all that lace and sheer. Very sensitive skin. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do but stand there. Just let her move. Like, what do you want me to do? Because I'm not moving her. So I'm just... I'm going to let it happen. I'm only human. She was grooving, though. She was grooving. Why are you thinking about to cry? Me I could die. I 
mau lah. <laughs> Wait, where is this? Okay, that was emotional. I don't even know what that was. I don't even know what that was. That was emotional. Okay, so that... Can I go back real quick? That was by Always Here. Always, As always, link will be down in the description. Um, And then... Next one is called Inglot, um, Charlotte Giving Infa Gay Panic Alert Charlotte Gone Wild. And this is by Jane Bolina. I'm pretty sure I butchered that, but again, link in the description. Dude, Charlotte can dance. Like for real. Woman is a moving, okay? She got the hips and all, and she's on beat. Can't be mad at the girl on beat. If only I knew what this song was, and then secondly, what this event is. I feel like it's another Miss Grand event, but what do I really know? Why are they backstage? Oh, congratulations, Charlotte. Oh, they have a trademark song and dance. You know what? I'll say this because I saw Charlotte doing this the other the other video. So yes. Is that a Nike on her back? Nike swoop? You gotta admire a woman on beat, okay? Yeah, it'd be even better if everybody stopped recording their whole lives so they can enjoy it without the reviews that would come later. Someone's always got a comment. What a little event this is. She feels like she's at work. She's on the stage. And then those glasses, I don't know if that was a personal choice or not, but. Okay, definitely a performance event. There we go. Not gonna lie, that is true. I'd argue she's hotter without, oh no, she is, that's what she said, she said hotter. And yes, I would agree. What is this event doing for her, though? Like, why is she, is she singing during it? Is it promoting something? Don't feel like it is, but... And then is she singing, or is she just kind of like... Being like a hype girl dancer? I think I have too many questions to enjoy this properly. Oh, she! everybody got on stage with her. All of her friends are here. So they all got on the stage with her. That's nice. We love a girl party. Look at that! Her hips do not lie, okay? It's smooth sailing, okay? The whole way up. 
And then her friends are just egging her. Dude, you can't tell me that a friend doesn't egg. They're going to egg you on because why not? Okay? We're dancing, we're having fun, we're relaxing, everybody's recording you, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. I don't know how anybody would have survived that dance. It was basically a strip tease. Is that the lyrics? Because yes. Ooh, boots. Oh, it's a dance. You know what I noticed about K-pop songs? Or I guess this would be a K-rap song. Um, they always try to promote with... Look at the... Sub the smooth oh my god they always try to promote with some type of um dance did you she's making it very hard to continue this conversation so i kind of literally can't remember what i was talking about it was literally like she's so and it's so funny because we're moving on to something else because I can't remember what I was trying to say before. Charlotte, you can tell she's so comfortable and just wants to like kind of be like flirty, even if it's not anything like intentional, just kind of like fun flirty. And then in, um, P. Foss being very intentional and trying not to pressure her because I think on some level P. Foss realizes that Charlotte is just kind of being comfortable in that flirt zone, you know? And one, she doesn't want to ruin the friendship they clearly have. And then two, if it's more, by showing too much, she would out that, right? I'm not saying it is or it isn't, but I'm just, P. is playing a very um, delicate game versus, ooh, wow. Okay. Um, versus Charlotte, she's just kind of doing what she wants to do. And it works because before she used to be very like, and now she, she got low. She got lower than the flow. She, she was in it. These are some good pictures. That jacket's not for me. I can't do the jacket. I don't know if it's like too big or not big enough. It's just... And then with the shades. Like I'm already an issue with shades inside anyway. So now it's... See that's a good picture. Hey she has a hip tattoo. I want to know whose trajectory changed. But I'll survive. She changed. Oh, that was nice. That was a good time. Okay, so those were fun, right? A little bit more about them than we knew before. Just a, a good little break and a good little reminder that Show Me Love will come again next week and we get to be a little bit more into that. But then again, it's also one step closer to it being over, so that makes me sad as well as happy. So, um, I'm still not seeing the, um, PFA daddy vibes. I just, I don't know if I'm not finding the right videos, if the videos I am finding just aren't giving me what they're supposed to be giving. I just, if someone, like, could, like, share a link in which there is a video, some type of TikTok, some type of Instagram post, something that shows, um... P Fa and Daddy vibes. Like I want the energy that the Show Me Love, um, um, she, um, screen transition is is doing that pose where she's like has her hair slicked back and Charlotte is in that um that white dress thing, uh, with tank top. Like I need that energy 
in a TikTok or an Instagram post or a YouTube video. Like, I'm not being choosy. But if someone can get me that energy, something that I can watch, I'd, I'd, I'd watch that. I'd watch that. And I want to watch that. And I can't find that. And that's what I want. So, that's all from me. If you like this video and you have the time, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.